So when I initially saw this article, it was very funny to me at first. But quite honestly, it's not supposed to be funny. And it's crazy. Crazy. The stuff that these JCF officers do. And they think they're never going to get caught. We live in 2018. Technology up there. Okay. And this article says a young police constable has been placed under a probe only a day after he reported he graduated from the Jamaica Constabulary Force Training School and was to officially take up his position on the na nation street as a full-fledged member of the force. The cop is under in investigation in connection with the theft of a laptop. Yeah, that's where your whole career if you want a laptop. Mm, mm, mm. Not even three quarter your, your, your salary. Yeah, that's where your career for. Reports are that on Sunday, May 12, a software developer of a Kingston 8 address visited the central CIB office in Kingston and requested the assistance of the police to recover his laptop. The software technician reported the item was stolen from his car on Friday while it was parked on the compound of Sovereign Shopping Center in St. Andrew. Mm -mm -mm. And that he had reported the matter to the Mantells Corner Police Station, which covers the area where the laptop was lost. Police were told that the software technician had managed to track his laptop to the 96 Orange Street in downtown Kingston, hence his visit to the central police station. So the man, then, he have a laptop in his car, left in one parking lot, and it disappeared. He go put in one police report say in laptop lost. Then he installed the software and it tells him that it's at the 90, 96 Orange Street in downtown Kingston. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. Acting on the information, reports are that a team of officers accompanied the complainant to the location and during a search, the laptop was recovered at the premises that was being operated as a shop. The shop owner, when questioned, told the police that the laptop had been left there by a friend who would be returning soon to have it fixed. Shortly after, the person who the shop owner spoke about turned up at the establishment. I saw. The individual was held and questioned and later identified himself as a young police constable who had graduated a day before. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. The new JCF member was asked where he got the laptop from and he reported and indicated that a man known to him as country of Waterhouse, Kingston 11 address, gave it to him just hours before he was held. Mm, mm, mm. The investigators acting on the information provided by the police constable ended up apprehending a man in Seven Hills, Bulls Bay, St. Andrew, who reportedly goes by the moniker, and the young police had given the investigating team. The man was later interrogated, and minutes into the session, reportedly changed his story and denied knowing the name, country, and refuted the claims that the new police constable had made against him in regard to the laptop. The man claimed that he agreed when the police constable made the request but later changed his story when he found out the seriousness of the matter and made a decision to speak the truth. Well, reports or statements have been since been recorded from all parties and a formal probe has been launched into the matter. So this matter is under investigation. So the, pro the boy left him laptop in a... In care, somebody thief you out. It's either the police thief you out or somebody else thief you out. The man who ain't claim thief you. We go by the name country. Give it to him. 
him carry go at the, the place, the shop, for fix it. When he took it to the shop to fix it, the guy that actually lost the laptop now have him tracker in him laptop and track it to the establishment and bring police with him. So when them go at the shop, police and police link, link up. It's crazy. Okay? Cra crazy. First of all, they just take one laptop from somebody you don't know like that. Honestly, me would never. But that's neither here nor there. Because the laptop can be stolen, all of that. If you don't have proof or like physical information, say you buy it or want a receipt or something, why would you take it from somebody? I have no clue. But them just do stupid and stupider things every single day in the JCF and think them all get away with it. And that's not the case. At 2018, we have a lot of technology. People have video everything. People have track up on everything. GPS, maps, they on everything nowadays. So don't think so you actually take people things and get away with it. It don't work so anymore. But come in the comment section and tell me what you guys think about this story. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to your girl here on YouTube. I'm out of here, man. Deuces.